Hello there. I'm putting this video together to help uh, those of you who are having trouble uh, getting Moose on uh, LDT to work. So in this video I will explain how to set it all up pretty quickly, all that you need, all that you have to do. So let's get started. First things first, we need to make sure that we have the proper Java version installed in Windows. So we go to Program Files. By the way, I'm assuming that uh, we are using Windows 10 64-bit here. Um, go to Java. Uh, in this case, I'm using this uh, version, uh, Java Runtime Environment 180241, which I know it works. So first things, uh, the first thing that we do is go to the download site. Uh, this will be linked in the description. In this case, we are going for the Runtime Environment 8. For Windows 64, it's down here. Click Accept Download. Well, actually. Before you download it, will ask you to create an Oracle account. Uh, no, it sucks, but it is what it is. Then, second step, we go to the Eclipse Org uh, website, and uh, this link will also be in the description. Uh, stable release 142, 64 bit, we download it as well. There we go. Third step, we go to the, to the GitHub project of uh, Moose. We'll go to the releases section. This is the link. It will also be in the description. Uh, we'll look for the latest one, stable, which is 2.5.0 pre-release. We deploy assets and then uh, we only need the source code here. We could also download the Moose uh, include. This is the file that you will include in all your missions in Mission Editor to run uh, Moose. Okay, but right now it's not needed. You can download it if you want it, but not needed for setup. So we download the source code and that's what I've done. Okay, here's uh, the e Eclipse LDT. Here is the source code and most include, which we won't be using in this, uh, in this tutorial. All right, so let's get down to business. The first thing that we do is uh, create an Eclipse folder. Um, you can create it anywhere you want uh, inside your computer. I'm creating it on the desktop so it's easier for everyone to follow. I'm gonna call it, for example, Eclipse 1.4.2. Next, we extract the contents of the zip file that we downloaded from the uh, Eclipse website. There we go. Uh, make sure that it's ready to run as administrator, just in case. Yes, it is. Good. Next thing we do is uh, extract the source code that we, don't, that we uh, downloaded from the GitHub page. Moose source code, there we go. These two things, so we are ready to set up LDT. So we execute LDT. And the first thing is going to ask us uh, to create a workspace uh, within the installation folder, the Eclipse folder. So, uh, yeah. We can use it. Uh, do not ask again. Launch. All right. So, first thing that we do file, new, Lua project. We are going to create our Moose project here. So, uh, we can give it any name we want. For example, I'm going to name it Moose 2.5.0. Uh, this needs to be created at, a, at an existing location, which is going to be the, this, the, the source folder from Moose that we extracted from the zip file. Okay, so Moose 2.5.0 pre 1. Okay, select this. Then uh, execution environment 5.1, no template. This uh, looks okay. Next, this is very important. Now uh, we need to select the source folder, and it's gonna be Moose development. We open it. Moose. This is the folder. Okay. Moose development. Moose. Add folder. Moose to build path. We do this. This is the source folder. Now finish. Now LDT is building. Uh, building this project now. Um, IntelliSense should be ready to go. So. Uh, now we need to create our own project for our miss mission. So we can either uh, right click here, select new and Lua project. We can also go file, new, Lua project. It's the same. So we do either of those. Then we give it any name we want. For example, I'm going to call it my missions. 
my missions. And I should look at the keyboard when I write. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, in this case, we don't have to uh, create a project at an existing location. We create it in workspace. No execution environment, no default template. Okay, like this. Next. Now, this is important. Uh, source folder, remove it. Don't need it. Projects. This is really important. You need to reference the Moose project here. Otherwise, IntelliSense is not going to work. So we, you reference it. Okay. It's in the list. Finish. Now, my missions. We can remove this source folder. Not needed. Now we can create a folder inside my missions, for example, if you want. Uh, we can call it, I don't know, uh, test missions. Finish. Right. So here's the, here's the point where many of you uh, encounter problems and don't know how to solve them. So here's the deal. If we try to create a Lua file, a new script, I call it my script, for instance. See what happens. Oh, creation of element failed. See error log for more details. Ah, oh, the world has ended. I don't know what to do. I'll never recover from this. It's a catastrophe, right? Well, no, it's not. It's okay, guys. Just, uh, it doesn't let you. Nice. Cancel. Do you know what the problem is? LDT, uh, the first time that we executed it, we didn't have these projects created. So LDT doesn't know what to do. Now, it uh, doesn't know where to, where to put this Lua file. So you, what you do is exit. Restart LDT. Then now, it's, it's going to take some time to load Moose.Lua because uh, there are a lot of uh, thousands and thousands of lines of code to be loaded here. But what we do is try again. Just right click on my missions, new. Lua file, my script. It's gonna take a while the first time. Maybe not, it went quick. See, all of a sudden we can do it. Now, uh, let's, let's uh, test IntelliSense. For example, we're gonna write a known Moose method. For example, we're gonna create a zone, okay? So zone, colon, and see IntelliSense is already loaded and all. New. There you go, IntelliSense is working. I did not expect IntelliSense to be loaded this quick, to be honest. It normally takes a while. I'm, I'm gonna make a demonstration um, later, maybe. Okay, so we save this. We save it. And as you can see, the script file is now outside the folder, but it doesn't matter. If you want it inside the folder, you, all you need to do is save the script, which we already did. Take it, drag it, and there you go. Now it's inside, no problems. Close it, open it again. IntelliSense working. All right, now uh, I'm gonna restart Moose. Sorry, LDT, restart LDT, so you see that IntelliSense, sometimes it, it well, most of the time or, or, or all the time, it takes a little while to load. It's not instantaneous, okay? If I open the script right now, IntelliSense is not gonna be working. So what we do is save the script. It's not working. It's okay, we just click on a valid method. This is a valid method. Right click on it. We either click open declaration or F3. Okay, and then um, LDT is going to start looking for this method within the Moose project in the source code. When it finds it, a new tab will be opened and we will see the declaration for moose colon as for sorry for zone colon new okay when that's done intelligence will be loaded all your scripts from that point on will have intelligence it just takes a while because there are thousands and thousands of lines hundreds of thousands of lines actually i think being processed right now takes a while okay but it's done so whenever you run zone new in Moose, Moose is actually doing all this stuff for you, okay? And this is IntelliSense working. Now you can see IntelliSense is working. If we try to do something with the zone, we have all the methods already available here. So IntelliSense is working. Save the file. And remember, you can uh, include any scripts in any folders by dragging them in or dragging them out. If I want to drag it out, I just uh, add it to my missions and it's out. If I want to drag it in, add it to test missions and it's in. So simple as that, guys. 
and that pretty much covers everything that you need to know about the uh, basic setup of uh, Moose within LDT. Uh, okay, I hope that it was helpful, and uh, see you around.